Having, having said that, let us just, just not lose our threat. Whereas, uh, we, yeah, we ended up where we're agreeing to disagree, which is a good place to be at times. I wanted to ask you, oh, I, actually, I think you said to him you don't believe in the Bible. I mean, obviously. No, no. But is that so, me, though? Is that so? If you were to ask me, there are verses in the Bible which yeah. I agree with. Okay. I'll give you those verses. No, no, there no, don't, because I want to ask you. There are verses that I agree. Yeah. I believe, as a Muslim, I'm a Muslim, yeah. that the Bible has been corrupted. Okay, now let's stop to there. To a certain degree. Okay, let's just stop there, because that's, that's where I wanted to get to, really. Yes. What fascinates me is that I believe the Quran instructs you to believe every word of my Bible. Can I, can I answer that? I wanted you to. Okay, now, when Jesus was on this earth and he was walking in the land of Palestine, yes. he did not preach Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. He did not have Paul's letters. So when we talk about the New Testament, when we talk about the canonical gospels and John's and, 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 the, and, the, and, the, letter, and the letters, we can't say as Muslims that this is from Jesus. The gospel of Jesus, we don't have. We have snippets here and there, snippets of people hearing Jesus saying this or saying that. Now, whatever Jesus says in the Bible, in the New Testament, as an example, when he says the Father is greater than I, I agree with that. I will not disagree with it because it's true. Jesus is saying that the Father who created Jesus is greater than me. And there are many verses when, when I read in the canonical gospels that Jesus says clearly, he's not even ambiguous in any way, shape or form. Well, let me explain. That there is a distinction yeah. and differentiation between yeah. him and the Lord. Okay, well, well we, in answer to those, we, we have the, the view of the incarnation of Christ. Hebrews says, um, he, for time is made little over the angel, St. Paul in Philippians 2 speaks about him becoming and um, not holding on to the equality with God, but taking the form of a servant. I'm not going to go into the incarnation because I wanted to be specifically about um, the Bible. Yes. And why I believe that Rand tells you to accept it all. No, but then what did I say? Yeah, I know what you said. I, I was responding to what you said. Verses, the, verse, yeah. Yeah, the, the verses in Quran yeah. clearly tells us to follow, do not follow, sorry, okay. to believe in Jesus. Because as Muslims, if we do not believe in Jesus, we can't call ourselves Muslims. All right. Because the tenets of our faith, okay. people assume the pillars of our faith is what we follow exactly. Okay. But when it comes to Iman, faith. Okay, now here's there what. Are six things that we need. I'm not sure you're getting, you know what I'm getting at here. But read the verse. Yeah. Read the verse. Um, Surah 5, okay. verse 47. Okay. Hold on a minute, just to make sure. Okay. Um, 46 and then 47. Okay. And we sent, following in, the footste in their footsteps, Jesus, the son of Mary, mm -hmm. confirming that which came before him, yes. the Torah. Yes. And we gave him the gospel yes. in which was guidance and light, yes. and confirming that which preceded it of the Torah as guidance yes. and instruction for the righteous. Yes. Then 47, and I'll stop there and go on. And let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed therein. And whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed, then it is those who are the defiantly disobedient. Yes. Now, this, this is being given to Muhammad um, after six, between 622 and 632. Right? I've got a perfect answer so, for you. <laughs> Muhammad is saying, so Allah is saying, let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed therein. So the people of the gospel that Allah is telling Muhammad to tell, to judge by, where do they go to to get that gospel? That's a very good point. Can I, can I just... uh, yeah, what, I was now, asking you. Yeah. We know today, that there has been thousands upon thousands upon thousands of books that have been left out in the by the Catholic Church, by the Protestants, they only accept 66, the Catholics only accept 72, the Three. 73, sorry. Yeah, don't drop on. I do apologise. The Orthodox 782. So there are many, many books that exist. We as Muslims, we know that the Gospels, what does Gospel mean It's uh, in, in Greek? It's the, the, the good news. It basically is good news. Evangelium. If, yes, Evangelium. It was the good news. And when it says the Injil in Arabic, it's the... That's Greek, Evangelium. Yes, yeah, the good news. Now, it was not something which... It's was not written. Arabic, by the way, but anyway. Yeah, it, it comes from the Greek, yes. yes. But it was not something which was written, which was a book. Jesus, when he come, came onto this earth, his speech was what we as Muslims believe is the gospel. That's the Injil, That's yeah. That's the Injil, his speech. But I need to, which was in, at the time of Muhammad though, yeah. Allah is saying, 
let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed I'm coming therein. To that. I'm coming to that. All right, okay. That. Like the Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, his wife, his first wife, her cousin, first cousin was a Christian. Now, he was a person... Is that Waraka? Yes, he was a Christian. Now, we don't know in terms of what books he read or what he, exactly he followed. But at that time, there were Christians who were believers that Allah was one and that Jesus was sent by Allah. Not the Christians that we see today. And in the Middle East, if you go around the Middle East, you will see for yourself that there are many, 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 many people that call themselves now Christian, but they don't believe Jesus is the... Uh, uh, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity. So when that verse, that verse is talking about the people that lived at the time with right. Jesus, with Jesus, and the companions, because now even your modern scholars tell you, tell us that the disciples of Jesus didn't worship him. Hold on a minute. I don't. I, I, I want to. That's that's a, an issue for for a time we will discuss many because times. But I'm Christians still today is different to what the Christians were then. Again, we will come to that. Yes. You and I on many occasions. Yes. But right now. Yes. When Allah is saying to Muhammad, or saying to the people, yes. let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed therein. To do that, for the people of the gospel to judge by what Allah has revealed therein, at the time of Muhammad's life, when he's on earth, where, where are the people of the gospel to go to judge by that gospel? Where, where's the gospel in Muhammad's time? Okay, as I said to you, it was not something which was written, but there were communities of Christians that had the sayings of Jesus. And look, for example, the book of Barnabas. I'll give you an example of the book of Barnabas. There are many, many, there's two Barnabas. There's a letter of Barnabas, there's which, two, yes, which I've letter, got. Yes, and it's, it's a, it's a me medieval forgery. There are various things in there. And Muslims don't, rel well, some Muslims choose to try and rely on it. But even if, it, even, if, even if it's a medieval forgery, it doesn't, it doesn't destroy Islam. It just, but I just believe it's a medieval forgery. I still want to know for you to, to focus again, on again. the gospel not, at the not, time of Muhammad's okay, time. Go not, on. Yes. Go on. Look, we as Muslims believe that the message, the message Jesus preached, still exists. Existed then. Yeah. Exists. Existed then. Okay. It didn't totally disappear. Okay. But what men did was yeah. they changed his sayings and his words. Yeah. Now, as I said to you, it does still exist. And there are communities out there that solely believe in what Jesus preached. But it's not the modern day Christians that follow Paul. Okay. Because we, when we look at the modern Christians today, they have ignored everything that Jesus Don't preached. worry about the modern Christians. We're just going to stay in Muhammad's time. Because it's in Muhammad's but, time this is revealed. But, but this is what I'm saying to you. There but, are communities but, of, of people now, who followed what Jesus okay. How can you judge? But then what is this How can the now? people of the, the of the gospel the criteria now to decipher what is the correct and what is the incorrect teachings of Jesus? Okay, the Quran does that, right? Yes, so in your in your view. Criteria. However, the in the Quran, yes. it says we gave him Jesus the gospel, which in which in which was guidance and light. Agree. So then, Agreed. but then. Allah is saying, let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed therein. So if it's if it's saying he's revealed something therein, it has to be this gospel which Allah has given to Jesus, which is guided. No, I've no, I've only got. I tend not to bring anything with Arabic because because that means nobody can accuse me of abusing the Quran because this is just entirely English, and it's a Muslim. They say, and lots of Muslims love this Sahih International version. What we need to do first and foremost, when we're reading the Quran, you need to read it in Arabic. You know what I've got? It's in Arabic I've got I've got another version, and I've got the Yusuf Ali version, okay. and then there are versions online, and, and they don't depart from this tafsir? really. Have you, have you read the tafsir? No, I've not read the tafsir. Okay. No, so that's true. I would true. advise you to first and foremost get an Arabic reader to read it. And well, hold on. Isn't it fair for me to use say Yusuf Ali? I mean, there's an Arabic expert no, look, producing me, a the translation. I see, the way I see it you know, is Muslims should learn the Arabic language to really truly understand the Quran. Right. Reading it in English. Have you? Have Quran. you? Um, my first. Can you? My first language is Arabic. Yeah, because you're better, weren't you? So you yes, could. You yes, could. I, you, I, if I, I gave you the Arabic, you I, could. I could, I could read it to you. Okay. But the tafsir. In Islam, I think this is what Christians don't understand. When we read the, when we look at I know this interpretation, but just just bear just let's stop to wander too much from this. If this is an accurate translation, so I'll put a big if, capital I, capital F, underline three times, bold letters. Right, if this is accurate, it seems to be saying that there's a gospel. There's a written document which 
No, Inchil, Inchil, sorry, okay. Inchil. It's an Inchil, a document. It's, it's not clearly saying it's well, actually, it it's said, Allah is saying, we done. gave him the gospel in which was guidance and light. If it's in which, it's something external to Jesus, which was given to him. And I understand his Muslims saying, in the Inchil was given to him. His speech could be. And, and it says this in G, this goth is Injil, confirmed that which preceded it of the Torah as guidance and instruction. So it has to be something that's a guidance and instruction. No, it could be verbal. No, because when Jesus leaves the earth, it's no longer there. See, again, it has to be assigned is, to writing. This is where the issue is. You're, 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 you're looking at it from a Christian lens. I'm looking, I'm only reading this no, as no. it is, and I know no, it's a big if, and it therefore may be not, not accurate, but when we get an Arabic Quran, which I'll perhaps bring next time, you can look at that. But on the base of not my translation, this this Muslim you're translation. Looking, but you're looking into the words and changing the words but as they see. If I'm using the English, uh, I think it's to say that I there's a written. Muslim, if I was not Muslim and you read that to me, yeah. it doesn't say in any way, shape, or form. I will not put in my head it's written, something which is written. All right. It could be something which was orally transmitted. Okay? It's that It could be written, but there's, it's not 100% it's not certain in what you're saying. So all I'm okay. saying to you is, as a Muslim, I believe Jesus, right. he preached verbally. So, so, this, so this means then, yeah. say it's not written. I think, unless the Arabic is completely being messed up by this, this English translation. But it doesn't say written. It's it doesn't say when you give somebody a gospel, when, when Jesus was given a gospel, given an Injil, if he's been given it, it's not coming out of his mouth. Because he starts him speaking. See, this is the issue. We and believe that it was written. It wasn't written. For us, as Muslims, we believe, and the tafsir will tell you, when Jesus was on this earth, he would verbally tell people this, 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 this. And then people used to follow him. He knew the Torah. Allah gave him the Torah. Now then, all right. So in terms so, of, he didn't give it to him in a book. So let's, li let's move it. away from Jesus and to... And the verses tell yeah. us clearly that Allah yeah. taught him the Torah. So let us move to he the time of Muhammad again. Now. These Christians yes. who are supposed to use the gospel, use the Injil to judge by what has Allah has revealed therein. Yes. Allah has revealed in the Injil yes. that which the people of the God of the Injil are to judge by. Okay. So unless you've got a text, you can't judge by what has been revealed therein. In what has it been revealed? Look, According to this. Okay, I think you haven't read many verses. When Jesus came on this earth, he came to rectify the Jews. He, what they were doing, I'll tell you what they were doing. They were doing many, many things which were prohibited. Like in the temple, they would be uh, playing, uh, it was like a marketplace. And it's, you, as Christians, uh, believe this as well, that the Jews, they changed lots of things. They added uh, lots of things to the religion. So Jesus came to rectify their behavior. So Allah is saying to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that the, the, the Christians, or the, not the Christians, sorry, uh, Isa, said that Jesus, he came and he wanted to rectify them, rectify them. So what you're talking about is his speech in rectifying the people that were doing wrong. Does that make sense? Right. Okay. But I, I still think that in the time of Muhammad, yes. Jesus has long gone from the earth. Okay. If Allah is saying to the Christians of Muhammad's time, look to the gospel to judge by what Allah has revealed therein. They have to have something. They can't just go to somebody who's got oral information that's been apparently handed down for 600 years. I've never said that all Christianity is wrong. No, I'm not saying that. It's not about, it's not about that. It's yeah. about the, how the Christians of Muhammad's time yeah, can judge by, quote, what has been revealed therein. This, that seems to me. Where Allah tells the Prophet Muhammad that, he's been him, that he is the final messenger. Now, Jesus, he did not come for the Gentiles, you and I. And it even says in your book no, that, 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 that is that is what he came for is a separate no, issue from wait, what this verse is saying. Because this, I just need to understand because I'll tell how you, I'll, I'll tell you can you. actually can I, know what the gospel reveals I, therein I if there's nothing therein. Is you don't understand a bigger picture. You know what was happening at the time of the Prophet? The Jews were going to the Prophet Muhammad to ask him to uh, solve disagreements between them. And then the Prophet would say, you know what? Look into your books because what was written in their books was if a person commits adultery, they should be killed. So the Prophet, what they were doing was they wanted the Prophet to say, no, none of you guys will be killed. 
I will change uh, uh, the, uh, the solution for adultery. No, the prophet was telling them, the, Christian, the, the Jews at that time, no, look at what your book says. So it's, you need to look at the bigger picture. It's not. Ah, I've got separate. a bit of the bigger picture. A bit more of the Quran. Okay. Chapter 7, Surah 7, verse, 50, verse 57, 157. Sorry. Those who follow the messenger, the unlettered prophets, whom they find written in what they have of the Torah and the Gospel. Read the it's written in what they have of the Torah and the Gospel. Who enjoins upon them what is right and prohibits them from what is wrong and makes lawful for them what is good and forbids them from what is evil and relieves them of their burden and the shackles which were upon them. So they who have believed in him, honoured him, supported him and followed the light which was sent down with him, it is those who will be successful. So here we have Allah saying, those who follow the messenger, whom they find written in what they have of the Torah and the gospel. So the written gospel. No? In the Torah, it clearly tells us that there will be a prophet that will come. A prophet will come. And I'm just saying he says it's written gospel. Written Torah and written gospel. That means, yeah, 157, 157, the first two or three lines. 157. Yeah. Those who follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet, whom they find written, yes, please, find written, see, i.e. described, see, look, it's saying, they find written, i.e. described. See, this is, I, for me, when I read this in English, for me, it's not the Quran. The Quran is in Arabic. Okay, so what we're doing, remember, we're just looking at this and deducing what we can from this English translation by Muslims. If it's inaccurate, we can deal with that another time, but for today, let me, let me just take the we've only got this right now. You may have another one, or he may have one. Let me just take the quote. Uh, can you show me the other verses? Oh, um, yes, it was 549 and five, yeah, 548 and 549. Sorry, five? 548 and 549. No, which chapter? Chapter 5. Chapter 5. Verse 48 and verse 49. See this, I think... Uh, which ayah was this one? Which verse? This one is um, 7, chapter 7, verse 175. 175. No, sorry, 157. 157. Okay. We see that the Quran, the Quran depicts in two different forms. So the Torah, that is the original revelation given to Moses and Jesus, respectively. So the Torah given to Moses mm -hmm. and the Injil given to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And there is another way that the Quran depict, uh, depicts the Torah that's with the Jews and the Gospel that are with the Christians. Now, I can't just see the Griffiths. He was a professor in early Christianity. Mm -hmm. And he wrote a book for the Arabic, uh, the Bible in Arabic. And in that book, he mentions that there are no there are no evidences of any Bibles that have been translated to Arabic at the time of the Prophet. Yes. So the existence of the New, Te the New Testament was not circulated in Arabic. Okay. So the Gospel that's talking here is not referring to the New Testament. It's not referring to the Bible that you have today. But in fact, the, the corrupted version of the Torah, we do have that with us, which is the Tanakh, which consists of the Torah. So the way that the Torah works is you have it's divided into three different categories. So one is called the Humash. Humash literally means in five, which is the, the five books of Moses, which they claim, which is Genesis, Leviticus, Exodus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And then you have another type of writing, which is called the Nevi'im, which is the prophetic writing. So you have Isaiah. And in fact, the Christians consider Isaiah as the fifth gospel. No, we don't believe that. Well, if you go to the I'm a Catholic. We I, I read majority, lots of Catholic scholarship, and we're we're the majority Christian in the world, and, and the Orthodox don't believe it's a fifth gospel either. I think you can say it in a poetic sense because of Isaiah 52, 53. No, majority of your cults fade away from prophesizing about the coming of Jesus. But uh, we wouldn't say it's a fifth gospel. That'd be confusing to say that. No doubt we put great importance on Isaiah. But just going back to your point about the um, the gospels, you see. 
we we say that. Sorry, I need to um, go pray. I'll do a oh, yeah. okay. Are we done then? Yes. Well, maybe next time. Next time, yes. All right, and maybe in Arabic. Back off, um, yes, definitely. definitely. You go. Yeah, I'm on my feet. Well, I might go myself, so you know. Um, all right. <laughs>